Biology Laboratory, and today I'm standing next to a piece of equipment called a cryostat. A cryostat is basically a microtome that's encapsulated in this cover here. So very similar to the microtome that we use on the lab bench when we cut paraffin embedded tissue. But the microtome inside this capsule is kept at freezing temperatures so that we can cut fresh frozen samples. Now you're probably wondering, why would we want to cut fresh frozen samples? Well, if you stick around, I'm going to tell you in a minute. Let's have a look at a demonstration of the cryostat first. The fresh tissue sample is rapidly frozen and mounted onto the chuck using a liquid medium that sets solid and holds the tissue in place. The tissue can then be trimmed so the full face of the block is exposed. Remember the blade is sharp. Use safety precautions when handling fresh tissue and cutting on the cryostat. Next the frozen tissue is sectioned, usually at 6 microns. This technique takes a lot of practice. The frozen section is then mounted onto the glass slide. The mounting medium that was supporting the tissue sample rapidly melts on the warm slide and adheres to the frozen section in place. Let's have a close up view of this technique. So in review, fresh tissue is frozen rapidly at minus 80 degrees Celsius. It is mounted onto a chuck by a liquid medium that sets solid in freezing temperatures. So the tissue is hard and a frozen section can be cut on the cryostat. The cryostat produces rapid frozen sections because it does not require the tissue to be fixed, dehydrated or embedded in paraffin. This means the patient can receive results faster. Frozen sections also preserve cell antigens and enzymes for special techniques. It also preserves cell morphology that may otherwise be lost in routine processing with the chemicals and heat. There are limitations with this technique. Firstly, the tissue is generally not fixed and it will require storage in freezing temperatures. It also does not have the same cellular detail as routine samples. Artifacts can still occur with frozen sections and the technique requires skill. After the frozen section is cut and it can be stained with a modified hematoxin and eosin stain or a special stain. The staining is rapid because there are no steps to remove the wax. These images are from the same sample of tissue, which is kidney. The one on the left is from a frozen section and the one on the right is a section that has been fixed and paraffin embedded. Can you see the difference in nuclear and cellular detail in these two images? I hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new about the cryostat.